The boiler is controlled by this panel across from the fridge, labeled Aqua Hot. If you have 50 amp power, you will turn on the electric switch and the diesel switch, and the electrodes, electric heating element, will provide the heat, and the diesel will pick up the gap if there's any additional heat needed. If you want to start the engine after it's been set for a while, and you have the boiler running, you can push the engine preheat button, and the engine will be preheated by the boiler, I believe, to 195 degrees, so you don't cold start it. If you don't have any electricity plugged into the RV, then you would just push the diesel button, and the 12-volt power provides the energy to run it, but the diesel would provide the heat. It's a great system, and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. We have one thermostat. It controls all three zones. On the bottom right is an on-off switch to turn off all three zones at once. Otherwise, you can control each zone individually on the thermostat. And then we'll talk about the functions now. All right, so you press the zone button down, and the zone will flash that's being edited. Right here, we don't see a flashing. That's because three is being edited. So in this particular case, we have zone three edited, and we push the mode till we got the fan switch, and that's what we're showing here. Now we have zone three. We press the mode button till cool illuminated. So now it's set to air condition at cool at 68 degrees for zone three. Now we've pressed the mode button again until we have the word furnace lit up. Furnace is boiler. It only works on zone one and zone three, and boiler does not work on zone two. Now we have pushed the mode button again until we have the heat pump illuminated. Heat pump is basically the air conditioner that's now provided heat instead of air. The heat, heat pump works on all three zones. Here is the boiler indication panel. This is in the storage compartment. This is the third compartment back on the driver's side. If you notice, it says low voltage reset. In the boiler compartment, there's a chopstick that I use to reset that. I think I've had to do it once. But if something's not working correctly, you can look at these lights to determine what. Here is the boiler reservoir and the fuel filter. The boiler should be on the cold line if cold and hot line if hot. And you can look at the filter to see if there's water in the fuel also. The boiler is an awesome way to heat the RV. It also provides all the hot water you need. If you have 50 amp power, heating elements within the boiler will provide heat through electricity. If you don't have 50 amp, then the 12 volt will provide the electricity to burn, turn on the boiler through the diesel fuel. Now the diesel fuel will shut off when the tank gets to a quarter tank, so that way you don't burn your diesel fuel tank empty. The tank holds 150 gallons of fuel.